In the previous video, we can we see how the network process the data, the input data, and calculate the data in the output layer with the function we saw. But as you have seen here from the previous video, we calculate the output layer uh, with the with the input data. We apply the function f that is this function, and I will put it in red. Okay, and this is the matrix notation, and we will uh, calculate everything to here. Then we will put uh, apply the activation function to calculate the activate a uh, new one in the same layer, and then because we have another layer with weights, we'll calculate uh, with the function g that will be the same as f. We'll calculate the values of the next layer, in this case uh, the output layer, this topology and architecture. And then we'll apply another time the activation function to calculate the output. But now when we update the, uh, the, the network, we want to know how the network has done the job. Because we know if these values uh, fit to the program or not with these inputs. So how can we do this? With the error function, okay? If we have this, these are the output layer with the output numbers, and this is the error. So it will be a function, an application, and we will call A, E, or in many places we calculate we we know it as the cast function we will apply an rn to a real value okay and m is the size of the output layer so this function will have as parameter the vector x that is this layer neurons and we, it will return a value. How do we calculate? Okay, uh, we can use different uh, ways to calculate the error. Uh, you need to know that a data set has, as we saw, the xi and the yi. This is the input data. We want to, uh, to put in the, the neural network, and this is the data the network must output as. So it will be a vector in this case, and it will be the desired, desired uh, output data. So to calculate the error, we can use the mean square error, that is an algorithm, where we do the next thing. We will sum up all the differences, the square of the differences of uh, each position of the y that I will put the desired in position i. So here we will have the desired value in position 1 and here the desired value in position 2. And here we will have the output value of the, the out value of the output layer in position l that is the last layer. If we, I put up case the l is the last layer. And here the out of the x in last layer. So we we'll have these values and these values. So to calculate the error, we will do the difference between the desired value and the output value we have. Okay? In position i. And this will be from i was to 1 to n. And then to make it positive, all the terms will uh, square it by 2 and then we will divide by the number of neighbors okay uh, there are a lot of types of ways to do this uh, the most important thing is this but we can put divide by n or we can put here 2 because in the back propagation that is the training process we will cancel uh, both terms but we will see it in the back propagation so this is the general formula if we want to calculate the error. Okay, so 
that's all. If we want to do this with all the values and not with it, we will need to, this is the IE my e vector, subtract it uh, to the XL enumerator and we'll multiply uh, this by, uh, sorry, we we'll multiply this by the transpose. So if we put it this like this, we we'll multiply this by the transpose of this um, of this vector. Okay, to do the square, and then when we have this, we will need to sum all the values of the vector and multiply by a uh, divided sorry by n. So that's all I think that uh, to calculate the error and then in the next videos we will dive in to the training process when we know the error. We can adjust every equate of the network, every bias to improve uh, the performance of the network and decrease the error. But we will see that in the next video. So see you in the next video.